This is Tokyo, one of the world's biggest cities. Its streets are packed with a staggering four and a half million motor vehicles. These cars and trucks are a major source of carbon emissions in Japan. In our world of increasing gasoline prices, isn't there a better, cleaner way to drive around? Yoshio Takaoka believes there is. He spent a good part of his life racing cars all over the world, winning trophies for carmaker Subaru. Now, he wants to see as many gasoline cars as possible replaced with cleaner vehicles. And he thinks your next car should be electric. So he set up a workshop in a quiet corner of the city and started producing his own car, the Girasole Elettrica. Its Italian name means electric sunflower, and it is a brightly coloured electric car. The Girasole is part of an emerging global trend towards electric vehicles. あの、そう what is keeping electric vehicles off the Japanese streets? Takaoka has learned the hard way that making the dream of a non-polluting car into a product people want to drive can be an uphill struggle. First of all, making electric cars go fast over a long distance is not easy. Speed and range depend on the car motor and the power it can store. Compared to a gasoline motor, the motor of an electric vehicle is smaller and lighter, produces less heat, almost no noise and zero carbon emissions. Its most important component is its batteries, and to achieve better performance, a new generation of lithium-ion battery technology needed to be developed. Using a normal household electric plug, you can charge the lithium-ion batteries in the Girasole in about 8 hours, and with this it can travel 120 kilometers. And while it is no race car, it delivers a very decent 65 kilometers per hour. But his biggest challenge was meeting the strict regulations of the Japanese government. He spent a lot of money crash testing the Girasole. At first, the car didn't make it. But after improved security features, the Girasole passed all the tests and received a light vehicle license plate. As a result, it can be driven all over the country and Takaoka has already sold 100. To help him sell his electric sunflower, he has a handful of resellers in Japan, one of them located in Kamakura, an ancient coastal town in Kanagawa Prefecture. But this is not your typical car dealer. It's an electric appliances shop. Alongside household appliances, the Girasole and other smaller electric vehicles are available for sale and rental. Their hopes for better sales are based on the very substantial subsidies the Kanagawa Prefecture plans to start giving in 2009. In fact, several cities in this progressive prefecture and the national government are already chipping in their own subsidies in a push to promote electric cars. These subsidies will bring down the cost of the Girasole from 2.6 million to about 1.3 million yen. Oh. 
新しい考え方の導入していけばこのその本当にエコな車っていうのは受け入れられるんじゃないかなと思いますね。With experts declaring the end of cheap oil, the success of the electric car may come down to pure economics. Driving the Girasole is already about 10 times cheaper than a similarly sized gasoline car. It hasn't been easy for Takaoka, but he definitely deserves credit for leading the way in introducing the electric car to Japanese consumers. With startups already selling electric cars and large auto manufacturers preparing to do so in the next year, we can expect to see more cars like the Shirasole on the roads of our world.